Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend. Volkswagen India have finally unveiled their new mid-size sedan, the Volkswagen Virtus. This new Volkswagen Virtus is basically based on the exact same MQB India-specific platform which underpins the Skoda Slavia mid-size sedan as well. That said, in terms of exterior and interior design, this new Volkswagen Virtus is nothing like the Skoda Slavia. The Volkswagen Virtus features sleeker lines and sharper angles while also having a more sportier appeal. In terms of dimensions, the Volkswagen Virtus is claimed to be the longest car in its segment at a length of 4,561 mm. Just like the Skoda Slavia, the Volkswagen Virtus also claims to offer 521 litres of luggage space. Next up, talking about the variants, just like the Volkswagen Tiguan, the Virtus will also be available in two different variant lineup. The first one will be the Dynamic line, which will come with the 1-litre 3-cylinder TSI turbo petrol engine, producing 115 PS of maximum power and 178 Nm of maximum torque through either a 6-speed manual gearbox or a 6-speed torque converter automatic. The second lineup will be the performance lineup, which will be available with the 1.5-litre 4-cylinder Evo TSI turbo petrol engine, producing 150 PS of maximum power and 250 Nm of maximum torque through either a 6-speed manual gearbox or a 7-speed DSG automatic. That said, when compared to the Skoda Slavia, the Volkswagen Virtus is likely to offer more standard features, including all LED headlamps, an 8-speaker audio system, and just like the Skoda Slavia, the Virtus will also offer a touchscreen system on the entry-level variant, along with 16-inch wheels. That said, only the higher spec variants will get 16-inch dual-tone machine-cut wheels, with the GT line also getting black-coloured alloy wheels. The GT line will also get black exterior highlights including a dual tone black roof colour along with red painted brake calipers. Similarly, the interior of the GT line will also feature red highlights around the dashboard along with other sporty touches including aluminium finished pedals and red stitching on the upholstery. The topmost variants of the Dynamic line and the GT line will also offer leatherette upholstery with front ventilated seats, automatic headlamps, smart key access with push button start, electrochromic auto dimming IRVM, cruise control, wireless smartphone charging, connected car features using My Volkswagen Connect, automatic wipers and electric sunroof, automatic climate control AC and a whole host of other features. Most importantly, the Volkswagen Virtus will also offer a lot of standard safety features including dual airbags, ABS with EBD, electronic stability program with traction control, hill hold assist, multi-collision braking, tyre pressure monitoring system, remote central locking, engine immobiliser and rear parking sensors. Just like the Skoda Slavia and the Volkswagen Tiguan, the Virtus will also offer three adjustable headrests for the rear seat passengers along with proper three-point seat belts for all passengers. Only the higher spec variants will offer six airbags as standard. That said, the large 10.2-inch touchscreen will be available from the mid-spec variant itself, also offering a reverse parking camera, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity, and an inbuilt Volkswagen App Store. That said, only the topmost variants of the Dynamic line and the GT line will offer the fully digital virtual cockpit instrument cluster with interior ambient mood lighting. An official price reveal of this new Volkswagen Virtus midsize sedan is likely to happen in the month of April 2022. And this new Volkswagen Virtus midsize sedan is likely to go up against the likes of the Skoda Slavia, the new generation Honda City, the Hyundai Verna, the upcoming updated Maruti Suzuki Sias, and the Toyota Belta. Stay tuned for further updates and our detailed reviews of the brand new Volkswagen Virtus midsize sedan. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.